Chris, this is Carla. We're both educators here at Discovery Place, and it's pretty cold outside. We humans wear a lot of layers to keep us warm, and I'm kind of wondering what animals do to keep warm in the wintertime. Well, animals have a lot of different ways that they keep themselves warm in the wintertime. Animals around here like to hibernate and stay warm, but those animals that live up in the Arctic actually don't hibernate. They're more active in the wintertime. All right, well, let's go inside and check out some of these animals. All right, so today the first animal we're gonna talk about is a polar bear. And today we have a polar bear skull, and Carl's gonna tell us a little bit more about a polar bear skull, so. Well, you can see it's pretty good size. A lot of experts say that polar bears are the largest of all the bear species. They can get up to about 10 feet long. And you can see from their head, it's pretty large. They've got some impressive teeth that they use to catch their favorite food, which is seal. So what the polar bear does is it sits at the hole that the seal comes up to breathe out of, waits for it to pop up, and then it's going to catch it in those big jaws. They're what's called an ambush predator. So they sit and wait instead of chasing it down. So Carla, how much does a polar bear weigh? Well, polar bears can weigh up to about 1,700 pounds. They weigh enough to break the ice. All right, so let's talk a little bit about the fur also. So most people think that polar bear fur is white, but it's actually clear. It has these tubes that are very, they're long tubes, and they actually have air in them. And so that's a very, that's a big misconception. So can you show everyone where polar bears come from, Carl? Well, polar bears are probably the most recognized Arctic animals. And so the Arctic is this part right up here at the top of the globe. So here in the Northern Hemisphere, up in the Arctic Ocean and parts of Russia, Canada, and Alaska. So here we have something that you can actually do at home or in the classroom. We have some lard or fat that is inside of a Ziploc bag. And what this does, this kind of shows you what it's like as an insulator. And we have a bucket of water here. So I'm going to put my hand inside of the bag, and we're going to put this inside of the water. Wow, I really can't even feel that cold water. So this is kind of, I guess, what it feels like to be a polar bear. So let's try your bag out and see what that feels like. See if that's really cold. All right, you give it All a right. try. Compare. All right, it's pretty cold in there. So we can see that this bag insulates heat much better. All right guys, so here are some more animals that you might recognize. Chris, do you know one of these animals doesn't live where it's that cold? Hmm, I think it's the penguin, because most people think that penguins are up in the Arctic with polar bears, but this penguin is actually from Chile, so. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Yeah, this is a Humboldt penguin, and it actually has some bare patches on its cheeks and underneath of its wings, so that when it gets really hot, it can actually get over 100 degrees where these penguins live. They'll start to blush, and they turn a nice pink color. So they're kind of opposite of most animals that live in the Arctic, because most animals that live in the Arctic try to keep warm. They actually try to stay cool at some points, right? Yeah, so you might notice that our other birds here, like the snowy owl, and these ptarmigans have feathery feet, that's going to help keep them warm up there where it gets really cold. Well, is this one, this one kind of looks different than the other one. This one's white and this one's brown. I think that's because of the seasons, right? Yeah, so in the summertime, a lot of Arctic animals, like these ptarmigans and animals like the Arctic fox that we usually think of as being white, are a brownish color in the summertime to help them camouflage. And then they'll turn white in the winter. And this right here is an owl. This is a snowy owl, correct? Yes. Yeah. All right, and they also have these really cool white feathers. And most animals that are white use it also for camouflage. So this is an ermine. It's in the weasel family. And even though he's pretty cute looking, they do stay small like this, but they're pretty ferocious. They are a carnivore, which means they eat meat, and they'll even take on a bear or a bobcat. But to stay warm, even though he's nice and small, he's got a lot of fur. He's got some pretty thick fur. All right, so as we can see over here, we have a polar bear. So the ermine, as you can see, is much smaller than the polar bear. All right, so from everyone here at Discovery Place, stay warm, especially you, penguin.